You know, this is what gets me. When you go look up the definition of God and then the definition of the devil, you get two different trains of thoughts. For God, they say, if the existence of God could be proved, it would not require faith, which requires a lot of risk on a person's behalf. But yet, they say the devil is like a personification of evil. Do they need proof of the devil's existence? Uh, to say, yeah, that's kind of evil. No, they don't even go that route. But for the route of God, they go, it takes faith, which requires risk for a person to believe in God. So if God's existence were solid, you wouldn't need the faith, which would require the risk. But the devil, the devil is literally a personification of evil. And that don't require faith on anybody's part. See, because you can look around and you can see the evil and you know that evil is not good. And you know that the evil exists and it's more or less defined as the personification, the devil and evil. But God, they say, the existence of God, since it can't be proven, um, it makes a person have faith, which requires a lot of risk, which may not be good. The devil is real, and he is the personification of evil, of all that is bad. But you know what? I think I'm going to take my chances, okay? I'm going to have that faith, okay? I am. In the existence of God, okay, I am because I've saw the proof of God's existence in my lives and in the lives of many others. So with that being said, hello wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Love you.